start, uh, Jackie Stanley, anyone who doesn't know me, I do enjoy kind of games just like Jackie and Cal and making people drink their beers. So I'm going to play a little game. If I give you a shout out, you got to drink um, throughout my speech. So um, let's see what happens. Um, so to start, I am Cal's best man, Dan, uh, his long term buddy. Before I get into how, you know, my life as Kyle's buddy. I want to first thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Roebuck. Uh, and then uh, my second parents, Mr. and Mrs. Z. Thank you so much for this evening. We're all so happy to be here. So, a little background Kyle and, I, Kyle and I met freshman year of high school. Uh, I think we had Mr. Collins' religion class together. Great. <laughs> Mr. Collins isn't here today, but uh, so it, so we've been we've been good buddies since, right? So um, we had four years of LaSalle, ended in a state championship in hockey. Woo! Shout out to all the LaSalle boys. Yeah. Followed by five very very blurry years at Drexel University. <laughs> uh, shout out to every, all the Drexel grads out there. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, we went seven years. The last seven years in Philly, uh, trying to figure out, you know, work, this whole real life nonsense, work all day, going to take naps. So for all the adults out there, uh, so I, crunch, I crunched some numbers when I was, you know, going through the speech yesterday, and um, we, me and Zold lived together for 12 straight years, lived in six different houses, 14 different people lived with us, one of which is Jackie, which we will get into. Um, and most are here today, so all of you guys that live with us, drink. Uh, it's kind of crazy when you really think about it, we spent all this time together, all those years. Uh, you'd think at some point, like all the nonsense and shenanigans, like I would've got sick of your stuff, you know? Like, college, 8 a.m. class, and you know, you're not waking up, and then like you want the detailed notes when you get when you, when you when I get back from class, and then uh, or hockey, hockey when I'm like you're, I'm dragging you out of the house, you're like you're hours of game time, uh, what are happy hours after that? It's like God, how long are you gonna stay out? You have work in like three hours. So I'm here, little Jacks, I got in through all of that. It's all you now, babe. In all seriousness, and I'm sorry, I'm going to ramble for a bit, I'm really sorry. Uh, I tried to cut this down, I couldn't. In all seriousness, so, um, you know, me, me, me and Zola have known each other for a long time, right? We have, I have two sisters, Christine, Ashley, drink. Yeah. Uh, I have two sisters, Shan, Jen, drink. drink. So we're, uh, we kind of both grew up without brothers, right? And me and Kyle talk about it all the time. Uh, it's a brother I never had. Uh, zola has been a brother to me since the moment I met him, right? So I've had a brother for the last 15 years, which is which is pretty cool. And then I was thinking when I was writing this, I'm like, God, I'm a month older, so maybe he's old. Start calling me like big bro. Or, uh, you know, like something like that, like something cool like that. So, I'm uh, uh, so uh, next part. So I was gonna, and I was gonna, I was trying to get the next. Like, how do you really describe Zold, right? Because you know, he's he's a good guy, a lot of good stories, and I was like, I think about 200 good stories. College, the shore, all that, and they got 200, 194 of them end up with Kyle asleep standing up right at the bar. So, I mean, it doesn't really make sense. I'm not going to embarrass him and tell one of those stories. So we're just we're keeping it at that. Um, so I, I, I wanted to actually say something nice about you, Kyle. I, I drive into Kyle's personality a little bit. For most of you here, the one word, it's, it's, it's almost cliche. Like, I feel bad even saying it. Like, Lead, leader, Kyle is a leader, right? So it, 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 he's captain, he's the leader uh, of, all, of many of us. So uh, I kept going back to that and I couldn't find another word to kind of describe Zold. So uh, with hockey, right, I played coach 15 years with the guy, even if it's freshman year and you can't be a C, right, or you can't be a captain because you're a freshman. There's no doubt at all times Kyle was a leader in the locker room. Like any of the guys here could could talk about it. He commanded the locker room the way the way he had himself on off the ice, played every game in in and out. Then he went on to coach at Drexel and coach guys who were two years younger than him. Shout Swifty, drink. Um, <laughs> and, and and literally gained their respect from from day one, which like that's not 
a normal thing, right? It's like it's, it's not physically possible. Kyle did it from, from day one. Uh, I was at the bar drinking with him after the games as an assistant <laughs> coach. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, more, more importantly, right, the leadership, so it, it goes more than sports. It's with our friend group, like many of them here today, right? Kyle is the leader of our friend group. He's the guy, if anyone has a problem, they, you know, have relationship issues, or someone dies in the family, or good, bad, happy, sad, the first person anyone in this room dials up is Zoli every time. I do it myself. Get yourself into a sticky situation. Done that. And Kyle's <laughs> always there, always there. Oh. Yeah. 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 A lot of 15 minutes, I didn't count that in. So, um, yeah, Zoli, it's, it's, it's easy for, it's easy for people to go to Kyle because he's the person, he's able to put himself aside from others, right? It's one of the hardest things in the world to do. You put yourself aside, you really think about the other person, what's best for them, and, and that's what Kyle does day in and day out, uh, which is which is pretty awesome. It's not easy to do. I've been trying to learn from him, and um, it's pretty it's, it's a pretty awesome thing, kind of how Kyle lives his day to day. And then uh, the third the third thing we do with his family, right? So, Shan, Jim, what's up? They, they might they might they might roll their eyes, but like they do. I've known Kyle long enough. I know Shan and Jim long enough. They do really look up to him, right? Um, they, they value what he does day in and day out. Uh, when he's there, uh, it's it's obvious. I wouldn't go as far as saying he's the leader of the family because we all know I Mrs. Z. Yeah. 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 So we all know Mrs. Z is the commanding force. She is the, has the biggest heart out of anyone I've ever met. Yeah. Um, she does for others. Mrs. Z is one of the greatest people on earth. Mr. Zoldi, uh, one of the most hum humble and hardworking dudes. Yeah. I've ever met in my life. Um, so, so Kyle's got you got a little work to do, so but you do you do embody some of the greatest things about both your parents. And uh, when you really think about it, it, it kind of comes through. You uh, you've taken the most the, the best out of both of them, and um, and kind of made you who you are. Then it's Jackie. So I, as a leadership, I'm not. I, I'm very confident that he's going to lead you. Uh, <laughs> he's going to lead you, right? So whether you have yeah, in the future with your kids or family, he's always gonna put you guys first. I'll be right there, and like, like, like one, two, like it'll be close. Like I'll be right up there. Um, it might even whatever, but you'll be up there. You'll be one. I'll be two. And, um, I, I, I know. I know. Whatever Zola does, he's gonna succeed at. It. He's gonna work as hard. If he fouls, he's gonna. Over, 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 over again, as we've all seen, he's going to do it until he succeeds. That's just who Kyle is to a T. Uh, so, Zoe, thanks for showing me what it is to have a brother. Uh, I love you. Uh, always being there for me, for everyone else in this room. Uh, show me in so many ways kind of what it is to be a leader. I uh, love you, buddy. I'm still on that for them, so. <laughs> now, I'm, 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 I'll try to hurry it up. So, Jackie, I talk about Jackie because I love Jackie. So, Jackie, uh, let me get started about my favorite person getting married today. Um, and I was having a tough time with this, too, because when you, when you meet Jackie, it's like she's so nice and kind and, and excited and always wants to just talk to you and know how you're doing. And I, even at first, I was like, man, I don't know, it's sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know, Kyle. Like, I don't, uh, this, that, no one could be that excited to tell you about how bad her kids were at school. You know? um, but Jackie literally, um, it's confirmed she is a saint. Uh, I lived with her for a couple years, and I got to see it day in and day out. Jackie is one of the nicest people in the world. I have so many different ways to describe you, Jax. I love you. You're so, you're so kind and nice, and you think the best in people right away, which is pretty awesome. Um, you always ask me how I'm doing, how my family's doing, how everyone's doing. That's not something that people just naturally do, and it comes, you really do care. Um, you even go as far as trying to ask me like how my relationships are going, which we both know that they, every story ends the same way. And you still ask me, which is like so kind. Uh, and then my, so I'll, I'll end it soon. I'll end it with um, two stories about living with Kyle and Jackie, because you guys haven't got a chance to live with them as they, you started, started being together. So 
the first part, I'm just going to give you some recommendations from Uncle Dan, what, uh, what I think you guys should probably work on. Um, Jackie, this is a big one. you got to season your chicken when you cook it. you got paprika, pepper, salt, cayenne, something. God, that chicken is not that good. Uh, Kyle, there is more to make in the kitchen to stay on the topic than just yogurt parfaits and cheesy eggs. Like, your, your yogurt parfaits is up there with the best of them, but you gotta make something else. Uh, this one's easy and I, I didn't want to get into it, but Jackie, never let Kyle win, no matter how much he cries and whines, because I love beating him more than anything in the world I know you do. And you're more athletic than him, so just keep on going. Uh, and then this is, this is actually a serious one. So Jax, when you come home from work with all that energy, um, every, like 185%, as, as high as you can go, she comes home, she sits in traffic for two hours, Kyle by her house in the suburbs, um, and, and, and like she's like, you know, me and Kyle just work for 12 hours and you get home and Kyle's like, slow it down a bit, slow it down a bit, you know, like we just, we just got home. So I know that Kyle actually loves that. Uh, it's one of the coolest things with living with you guys, just kind of watching how excited you'd be to see Kyle every day and how excited he'd be to see you is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, so keep doing that because uh, I know so and I know he loves that. And then my last point was if I did if I did read that situation pretty wrong, I apologize, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> last part, I promise. You. So uh, the moment I realized I had to I had to uh, move out of their house at exact moment evening. So it was. February 2019, it was a cold evening, a Wednesday night. Fl flyers, flyers were on a 10-game winning streak, and they're about to make a playoff push. Me and Kyle, big hockey guys, season tickets, so pumped, so pumped. Mm -hmm. Downstairs watching the game, Jackie, Jackie yells down, do you guys want to watch The Bachelor uh, and drink hot chocolate with the cutie patootie marshmallows that she described it, which were the, the mini marshmallows, the cutie patootie ones? So, uh, we respectfully decline because the biggest game of the year, like, absolutely not, you know, we're, we're men. And, uh, and so second, second, second period ends, she asks us again, do you want some hot chocolate with a cutie patootie marshmallows? Yeah, absolutely, it's freezing outside. So we go upstairs and Shaggy makes us the, the hot chocolate with the cutie patootie marshmallows. We sit on the couch, start watching The Bachelor. And like, I weren't really into it. Like, it was Colton season for any of the Bachelor people out there. Yeah, he probably should have chose Hannah. She was way better. And they, <laughs> him and Cassie broke up last week. But either way, I wasn't into it. I didn't care about the Bachelor. And, um, so we are sitting, we're sitting there uh, drinking hot chocolate with the cutie patootie marshmallows. And, uh, and, oh, so Zol Jackie goes, Can we drink? Can we drink? Oh, drink. <laughs> Jackie goes, Kyle, can you tickle my feet? Which is psychotic. And he goes, he goes, uh, no, you ran your quarter for the day. So then she goes, okay, well, Pines, can you tickle my feet? I said, no way, no way, no way. She asked me again, Pines, can you tickle my feet? I said, absolutely not. But she asked me a third time, for anyone who knows me, I will do anything if you ask me three times. I'm not sure. So she says, Pines, tickle my feet. Pines, tickle my feet. <laughs> so I started tickling Jackie's feet, and then, um, and then Kyle's sitting there, you know, drinking his hot chocolate with the cutie patootie marshmallows, and he's like, well, someone rub my head. Like, Jackie, rub my head. So guys with, you know, tight buzz cuts, like, in their head rubbed. So um, she starts rubbing Kyle's head, and the flyers are on, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? Kyle, rub my back. So legitimately, I'm sitting there, tickling Jackie's feet, She's rubbing Kyle's head. He, my best friend's giving me a back massage. I'm drinking hot chocolate with the cutie patootie marshmallows while watching an awesome episode of uh, The Bachelor instead of watching the Flowers game. At that moment, I, was, I knew it. I was done. I had to get the hell out of there. I lived with them for another 15 months. Um, uh, literally, literally done. So Zolp, Jax. I uh, love you guys. Might need this paper again. So, uh, and one last. This is a much quicker story. So, um, you, know, you may you may not fully remember this, but that night in Seattle when you met Jackie that weekend, I came there on Saturday. You guys, I think, were there Friday. Um, and I, I haven't brought this up to you uh, today. Was the day I wanted to bring it up to you, but you said you said to me maybe five or six times 
uh, Jack was in the kitchen, we were in the living room, and you, you said to me five or six times, like, there's something special about that girl and that serious strong face you get that everyone knows. There's something serious about that girl. Uh, and then you literally went as far as to say, I'm gonna marry, I'm gonna marry that girl. And I didn't believe you because you were asleep 16 seconds later. Um, but I never should have doubted you, brother, because you're a man of your word. You always come through. Uh, you had a feeling and, and look where we are today. So I love you guys. All right, give it one more time for a drink. Put your hands together, make some noise for Jackie and Kyle on our wedding day. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your salads. Dance for those open door dinners. If you'd like to dance with Kyle or two, we'll get it up. We'll get it going soon.